So in this example, we have here one pulley grid device, and it doesn't matter that's in pulley grid. It can also be in pulley synth or polymer synthesizer. It doesn't matter. It, it works with all devices. And we have two modulators attached to this uh, poly grid here. We have a MIDI modulator and we also have a vibrato modulator. And this MIDI modulator has a lot of different modulation targets, as you can see on the left side here. We modulate attenuate here inside of the grid by this amount. We modulate amplify by this amount. So a lot of different modulation targets with very specific amounts. So let's imagine you want to create another, a new modulator. In this case here, we use a macro knob. And this one has no mappings because we just edit it. And we want to copy over all these modulation targets with these specific amounts over to the new modulator. And you can do that by right clicking on this blue modulator handle here. We right click. You can see here modulation routings for MIDI. And we just go here to copy. And then we right click on this modulator handle here and say paste. And now we copied over all the modulation mappings from this modulator to this macro knob. And you can see when we turn here the knob, all these modulation targets work as expected. So it's an easy way of copying or cloning or duplicating modulation mappings from one modulator to the other. And because we talk about modulation mappings and copying modulation uh, mappings from one device to the other. I maybe show you also uh, the other tricks. So let's say we have a pulley synth here on this new channel and we want to put this into a container. So we use Control and G to group this into an instrument layer. And you just duplicate the first layer to have multiple instances of the same synthesizer in different layers. So now we have multiple instances of this polysynth. And when we change, for instance, here the cutoff frequency on this instance, um, it doesn't change on the other layers, right? It's the same value as before. We changed only the cutoff knob in the first layer, as expected. So now we can just copy over the value of this one to all the other layers by right clicking on this knob here and say copy value to all layers. And now we have the same cutoff frequency on all the other layers, right? So it's an easy way of just copying over values, right click, copy value to all layers. Now the resonance has the same value on all the other instances. Easy way of copying basically just values. So let's imagine you want to add here a macro knob. And this macro um, knob changes the cutoff frequency on the first layer on this synthesizer. Kind of works. But we only have the modulator now on this layer. And it's not on the, all the other layers, right? So we have to copy everything over. But the easy way to do this is basically to just move this modulator here one a level higher by just clicking, dragging, and then you hold down control. And now we have copy and pasted or cut this out here and pasted this here into this uh, parent container. And the mapping is still intact, right? You can see we still modulate here the cutoff frequency. So it still works. Um, if you just copy this over, let's say you just click and drag, you can see we have a small little icon on the cursor here. It's just a small little plus symbol. If you just drag this over without using control, you basically clone or copy uh, the modulator. You have the same modulator here as before with the mapping to the cutoff. And then we have this new modulator here, but there's no modulation mapping happening here at all. It's completely empty, right? So you need to use control. So you click, drag, and then you hold down control. And we just removed this here. We moved it over here. Mapping is still intact. But now we have only a mapping from this container to the first layer to this cutoff frequency of the first polysynth, but all the other, you know, mappings are missing. 
So we can also copy this over by right clicking on this and say copy modulation to all layers instead of copy value to all layers. So now we want to copy the modulation mapping. So we use this and now when we change the frequency or this modulator, we change the frequency of the first layer and all the other layers too. Right, so it's also a quick way of copying modulation mappings from one layer to the other layers. And if you do a lot of modulation, you have a lot of modulation targets, a lot of specific values for all these modulation targets. And it's pretty easy and pretty nice to have a feature like this to just copy mappings to other layers by right clicking on the knob and say copy value to all layers or copy modulation to all layers. This also works for multiple modulators. So we are back here on the first layer. We add a macro and this macro changes the cutoff frequency. And we add another one here and we change the resonance of the first layer. And now we just hold down the Alt key. On Mac, it's probably the opposite, you have to use control or Apple or whatever, or command key. I have no idea what, what it's called at the moment on the Apple ecosystem, uh, but you have to experiment. I think it's just the, the control or the command key. Uh, on Windows, it's Alt, so you hold down Alt key and then you get this yeah cross or this plus symbol, right? And then you just click and drag and you can select multiple modulators at once. And then you hold down control and just track this over here. And we have now copied over multiple modulators and all the modulation targets are basically in place. And we can do here copy modulation to all layers, copy modulation to all layers. And now we can change here the frequency and the resonance on all the layers in the same, the same amounts. So it works equally nice.